Alright guys, I wanted to do a video on Loctite Thread Locker. Now I know a lot of you guys that are into guns already know about this and probably use it already, but we've always got to keep in mind that there are people that don't know about some of these things or a lot of people are just new to guns. Uh, I get questions and comments and messages all the time on my channel of people that are in their 40s, 50s, whatever, and they just got into firearms and they just, you know, they're just starting to shoot and get into guns and everything like we are. So I like to try to keep in mind that some of these things that I take for granted that everybody knows that that's not always the case. Uh, a lot of times majority of the people don't know about these things. Uh, I just got some more of this the other day and I figured I'd just do a little video here and let you know why this stuff is so important. You gotta have this stuff around. Now this here is the Loctite Thread Locker Blue it's 242. This is the one you want to get for screws that you can easily remove at a later time. There are different versions of this Loctite, but the blue 242 is what you want if you ever plan on removing those screws later. Uh, and it'll be easiest to remove those screws if you use the blue 242. Uh, there's a few different pretty important things that I use this stuff on and here's just a couple of examples. Uh, 1911 grip screws. My Kimber grips always seem to come loose on me for some reason when I shoot at the range. Tighten them back down, go shoot again within the first probably three mags. Uh, either one or both grip panels are starting to loosen up. So you just put a drop of this on the screw. You screw your uh, screws back in the grip panels and it'll hold them in there secure and if you ever need to remove them again you'll be able to uh, break the seal and get these back out pretty easily uh, a lot of gun manufacturers are now sending parts or part manufacturers for guns are sending uh, screws to the parts with Loctite already on the screw threads and one of them is Magpul um, if you get a bad lever for your AR uh, I've got them on my ARs the screw comes with the blue Loctite already on the screw because this stuff is just really good for that and it'll hold it in place. Uh, another thing is uh, sight set screws on any of your handguns. Um, optic mount screws, very important. And scope mount screws. It's very important to put this stuff on there because during firing and recoil of a gun, your screws are under a tremendous amount of stress while you're firing that gun. If you could see in slow motion uh, video how uh, you know how what happens when a gun recoils and fires, it's it's a lot of stress because you can use this stuff on anything, on any kind of nuts, bolts, screws. But I feel that it's most important when it comes to guns, just because of the extreme amount of stress that's put on uh, all the parts. Okay, now I'm going to give you guys a couple examples of some couple things recent that happened to me that I had to use this uh, Loctite on. Okay, one of the things that happened recently was on my LWRC. As you can see, there's two pretty big screws right here coming out in front of the rails. You just kind of hand tighten them down, and that's all you're supposed to have to do. What these are for is they hold on the top part of the rail. If you remove these two screws, there's six little steel latches shaped like an L that go straight down in and then lock back and then you replace the screws. That way you can get to your piston system in here. Well during full auto fire with the LWRC I noticed that after shooting that these two screws had backed out a little bit. Now this would have not in any way caused this gun to fail. You don't even have to have the top of this rail on to fire the gun. But the rail would not have come off because there's, like I said, there's six little L-shaped steel pieces that seat down in here and lock back when you lock this in. But if one of these would have dropped out, chances are I would have lost it. It is about that long. So all I did was I put one drop in the center of the of the threading on the screws. Like I said, the threads are about that long. Put one drop of the blue Loctite 
on these screws and they won't move now during fire and when I do have to take the gun back down again I'll still be able to break this free uh, just with a screwdriver and get these screws back out to get into the piston system. The second thing that happened was on this aim point Comp M2. It was on the mount. I was firing this on one of my other ARs and after I got done firing the gun I noticed that the Comp M2 was rocking back and forth like this. Now, the mount was latched securely to the rail. It was rock solid on the rail, but the aim point was rocking back and forth. And what had happened was those four screws, two right under my fingers and two right above my thumb, had just worked enough, loose just enough that it let the aim point rock back and forth just in those four screws right there where I'm holding my fingers. So just to take the screws out, just a drop of Loctite on each screw, and you won't have that problem again. And that was just under uh, semi-auto fire from another AR. So that will cure that problem. So I figured this might help someone that might be new to guns or that just didn't know. You don't have to throw away your equipment if it works itself loose or take it off of the gun. You get the right Loctite and you put it on the screws and it will keep it secure and will keep the screw in place until you want to take it out. So I hope this video helps someone and uh, just trying to give you guys more help and info along the way when I can. Alright guys, that's it for me. This is Humans for Targets and I'm out.